to them. The rains are upon us, mate. And yeah, this is uh, one of the shops I'll tell you about. Like, that's the supermarket that you see everywhere. Like, there's loads of them. I literally, fucking loads of them. And there's someone getting a photo shoot there. I literally. <clears throat> you see bare photography. I literally. But I'm thinking just to get the one back to. Uh, to, yeah, back to town and then from there, not town, uh, back to the, the hotel and then from there, go to the coffee shop. Because from there, it's uh, not far and I just need to walk. So, yeah, there's another one. Cure of that. It's kind of like boots. I think they may actually have boots, like actual boots, but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, either way, it's all good mate, like literally it's all good. But like I say, I'm trying to fucking... Well, find find my stop for a start. So I may go down there. Just pop down here. See what's going on in there. Because yeah, I literally don't know where I'm going. So it's just a case of I just walk around and then just try and get my bearings from just getting lost all the time and then recognise it. Same places that I've walked past twice. So yeah, it's a beautiful place, mate. It's very flat and very clean. But even down these little side alleys, it's clean, mate. Like, literally. Here we go. Here we go. I'm on the main road. So, it should be uh, not too long from here. Um... Central. I always just go back to Central and then just work my way from there because I get lost, literally. But uh, yeah, there's quite a few people, literally. But it's all good. Mate, you can just smell the draw, like literally, just the weed, just the aroma, just the constant aroma. Like, you have a break, and then you just get a nice strong waft of it. Like, and you could literally just get high from the second hand smoke and just sitting in a coffee shop, mate. But like, literally, right, I'm at Central. I literally, I'm nearly there, so yeah. Just like being in England, mate, so I'm not too fast. <laughs> but literally. They got the bin, man. They wear orange. But literally. They wear orange. And also there's like a there's like trams. There's guys that work on the tram line. And they do like conducting and shit. That was pretty interesting to watch, like stopping the trams and shit. But I couldn't really grasp what the uh, what the system was. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going to duck into a coffee shop. Because there's not much point in me just walking around in the rain. Because I literally don't know where I'm going. So I'm not going to be able to achieve anything. So I'm just going to hop on my tram. I'm going to get number one. And then I'm going to find the fucking... I've got to find the fucking... Uh, what do you call it? The, the coffee shop but yeah
Metro station. I need to try and uh, get this tram. But literally. of them the roads are pretty clear and empty so, well it's raining so yeah oh shit i'm in the bike lane but yeah either way i'm on good vibes mate i'm just uh, walking down to this coffee shop uh, it's uh, not far it's literally like eight minute walk so i'm in the right area um but i've just got off at the wrong road but I'm probably going to pass it on my way to my hotel in order to get to it but I'm going to go to the hotel first and then go there because that's the directions I know the directions from the hotel but yeah it's all good well you can just literally walk everywhere but I'm under this little bit of shade because um, well it's raining so no point in me walking getting wet and soggy so but yeah hope you're staying blessed trip so far has been good it's been chilled relaxed and uh yeah I've got to go over some water and then it's the first right once you've been over the water so yeah lots of uh, food places along here I'm in uh, I think I'm in like a suburb it's like a it's not too far out of town but it's not because there's lots of like small shops rather than like massive chains so there's like um butchers and things like that Lo local things oh sorry local things so yeah but that's all good anyway nearly there so it's not too far to walk from now gotta go over this canal and uh yeah another supermarket this is the supermarket their brand is blue literally and that's one of the bags just there but um yeah this is the water i was supposed to go over and then it's the next right so not too far It's 
so many foods. I still think it's pretty chilled that the mopeds can fucking use the uh, bike lane as well. But literally. Chilled, man. It is all chilled. I can smell the sweet smell. The sweet smell of marijuana. It's all good, man. I'm, uh, I'm nearly there. I did recognize where I was and I was walking down here. Uh, I was lost but it turns out like I was literally just round the corner the whole time but never mind it's all right at least I found it in the end I literally Pleased to have gotten food. Yeah. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be getting some weed, hopefully. And then the leftovers of that change, the leftover euros, is gonna go on food. Hopefully Yeah I can see The hotel that I need So Now I'm gonna get The number three I'm where I need to be but I need to get the number three initially and yeah look at that fresh bike I thought that was a fresh bike but yeah
there's a, like a parking thing, a car. Down the end then, I don't know if you can see it, there's a car, a white car with like, what looks like the lights on top of it or speakers, but they're actually cameras. And they will go around doing all like the parking things. They've got them in uh, certain parts of England. But yeah, that goes around doing like all parking tickets and shit, like automatically, like literally. It's pretty sick. Well, it's sneaky, but yeah, here you go. But yeah, it just goes round with a camera on it, scanning all the cars. But yeah. I'm literally not far at all from the town. It doesn't take me long. You can walk and you can take the tram. That's what I like about this place. Even if something is a walk, like you can still walk there. It's not impossible to walk places. So yeah, but because I just didn't know where I was going, I just get confused really easily. Like literally, everywhere just looks the same. But uh, yeah. You can easily get to places, it's very accessible, like it's not a big deal, but yeah. There's 12, there's a 12. I want to get the free. And uh, yeah, I mean, I could even walk because I don't want to get this spot, this tram, and then it fucking doesn't take me where I need to be. But yeah, there's a tram here now. Stand by. So, boom. That's what the fucking fire engines and shit look like. And they're police. They wear yellow. Oh, you fucking having a laugh. Oh, mate. Basically, that's the coffee shop I've been trying to get to. Like, literally, you don't understand the mission that I've gone on. It's been about two hours since I last spoke to you. And uh, the police are fucking over there. And I don't know if they're going to let me through. Like, literally, the coffee shop is open, but they've closed off the bridge, so... It would make sense if they said no one is to be going down there. But, yeah. Oh, fuck. Let me see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Big up the Dutch police, mate. Literally. Legends. Right. Stand by. Some coffee shops are a bit camera shy, so I have to ask permission first. If not, then I'll uh, I'll just uh, let you know. But I'm going to smoke a zoo out here, out front, before I go in. And, uh, yeah. They've, uh, they're moving. 
they're moving it all. Well, literally, they're reversing back. Fortunately, the shop I want to go to is just here. Yeah. I'm running low on battery as well. So fucking... I need to uh, put a new battery in. Smoking on the streets of Dan, mate, like literally. So chilled. Surreal, but chilled.
and I'm outside a coffee shop. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> so chilled. Like literally, so chilled. <clears throat> but this is actually the rules. Like if you're smoking tobacco at the joint, then you can smoke it outside the coffee shop. Like literally, that is actually the rules. Like you can get fined by the police for smoking in the street, but they seem to be pretty chilled, pretty relaxed. Like I was saying, I haven't really done anything to piss off the police, and I wouldn't really want to be doing anything rowdy anyway, but... It's a question that's going to get asked. What's the police like? The police are turning away cars so it's so chilled because the road is quiet. So I've literally got the road blocked off in order for me to smoke weed. <laughs> Initially. Purple tram over there. It's got a um, decoration. <clears throat> Normally they're just blue and white. See what? I'm gonna kill it. <clears throat> right. 